Sometimes, people respond to disclosures of sexualized violence with questions, such as, What were you wearing? Were you drinking? Why didn't you say stop? These sorts of responses can lead the survivor to thoughts and feelings of shame, guilt, or self-blame. Negative social responses like this can lead to a slower recovery for survivors and might discourage them from sharing their experience with others, reporting, or accessing other help. Questions regarding why the survivor didn't disclose sooner or at a different time can result in them doubting themselves further. Others respond to disclosures with statements like, I believe you. I'm sorry this happened to you. This was not your fault. These kinds of positive social responses empower and support survivors. All survivors do things to protect their safety and dignity. This is called resistance. Acknowledging these acts of resistance validates their experience and reduces feelings of self-blame. Ask the survivor if they feel safe or if they need anything from you. This will vary as each survivor and instance of sexualized violence is unique and everyone will handle their own healing process differently. Some survivors may want resources or professional supports and other survivors may not want to take any more steps. This is normal. Let the survivor know that they have the right to move forwards however and whenever they would like to. There is no right or wrong healing process.